Hi there. Um, so, got the hair cut. Nice and short, extremely short in the back. Love it. It feels great, especially when like there's a breeze and it's just like, whoosh. and it's like, oh, very nice. Um, as you notice from the other videos, I had really thick, long, curly hair, and last night got real tired of it because it's really hot and humid already, and it's already April, only April. So I just took the scissors to it and snipped all back and sort of layered this right here. Um, the way I saw it, if the cost was a lot cheaper. If I cut it myself, then the cost is only, what, the five, seven dollars, whatever, for the, the nice pair of hair cutting specific scissors. And then maybe a cheap wig if I didn't like the haircut versus up to $50 plus, depending on, you know, tip or whatever, uh, to go get it professionally done. And then there's no guarantee that getting it professionally done would make it look correct, and I, you know, wouldn't still have to buy a wig to cover it up. So, but no, this is, this is great. This is cool. I like it. I get to wear a lot more earrings now, because the hair is not covering up, covering them up. And just, but yes, um, also, I would like to ask you guys out there, um, I'm thinking about instead of using, well, I don't know. The picture's all right in the webcam right now, but then when I go back to look at it, it's like kind of grainy. I don't know if I'm the only one seeing this or if it actually does look like that. Um, I'm thinking about getting one of those little point and shoot cameras that have the, uh, you know, YouTube webcam ability or whatever, video recording information, whatever. <laughs> Um, to, I guess get a crisper, clearer picture, and I'm still looking into getting um, a good microphone. So if any of you guys out there have um, recommendations or no good reviews I can look at, uh, that would be much appreciated because I don't want to just go to Best Buy and say, "Give me the most expensive thing you have," and then I don't need it. <laughs> um, so. Yeah, that's pretty much it. Oh, actually, no. Um, if, as a few of you know, the ones that I've talked to, um, I got a CAT scan Friday, and <laughs> I was a little scared at first because I went there by myself, and I was just like, you know, didn't have any, um, you know, groupies to like cheer me on and say, yay, you don't have cancer, you don't have, some, you know, seizures, you'll be fine, and <laughs> I just went there and I was just like, hi, I'm here to get a CAT scan, and they were like, yeah, we're waiting for you, blah, 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 and after like about 15 minutes wait, um, they took my money, <laughs> so of course I have to pay them, um, monthly installments of like 40 bucks because to get a CAT scan, or at least how much it cost me, it was like 520 Anyways, but yes, so, and then after they, of course, after they got the money from me, then they're like, okay, go ahead, we'll do your CAT scan now. And they put me in this huge room, and apparently all the pictures that I've seen of the machines are for something else, or for full body ones. I don't know. I only just had my head done because of migraines that I have sometimes. Um, and essentially what it looks like is just this long bed and then um, it looks like a big metal and plastic inner tube with like a spinny thing in the middle and you know it was funny because I thought oh I'm in the future now <laughs> and I don't think the nurse guy was too pleased with that I mean he laughed but like I guess he gets that all the time so he was just like yeah <laughs> so I was like okay um, so I just laid down on the bed, and they were just like, okay, don't move. And I was like, okay. So, and I was like, keep the eyes open, close, want me to hold my breath. And they're like, well, it's going to take about 20 minutes, 20, 25 minutes. So I don't think you want to hold your breath, unless you can do that. And I was like, yeah. I think the longest I've ever done is like a minute, maybe? So yeah, no. Um, so 
still wasn't really scary at all. This thing just spin, you know, was just spinning around in the middle. Um, and it made real weird clanking noises, and I was like, oh, please don't break. And um, then they had to give me this iodine dye because they took pictures of the brain, and then they were like, let's put some dye in her brain, which. Now that I think of it, you know, does it just dissolve in your bloodstream? I guess so. Anyways, um, which, and then they warned me it was going to make you feel really, really warm. And I was like, okay, you know, that's, that's not too bad. I've, I've given blood before, I'm sure. It's like when they do that, there's a special thing that they do where they just take out, like, the plasma, and then they give you your blood back. That's kind of cold and then when it's going away it's kind of warm it's weird so I thought it'd be a lot like that no <laughs> no like I could actually feel it like going in like you know where the needle is in and you just kind of feel it travel up your arm and I was just oh. <laughs> it's kind of weird and then I guess it went like really quick because then all of a sudden like I feel flushed and then I got really warm so warm in fact that I thought I was sweating a whole lot and I thought I peed my pants <laughs> because I was really really warm and I was like well I'm really, why is it so warm did I just pee my pants <laughs> I was expecting to get up from the bed and oh yeah no apparently that happens a lot no not the peeing the people thinking that they had peed their pants all over the bed um so I was like, when, you know, they came to pick me up, they are like, you okay? And I was like, I don't want to get up. I might have peed all over your bed. And he's like, no, 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 you're safe. No, that happens, you know, it's just the way it feels. And I was like, okay. So I got up real slowly and it was just like, okay, no, I did yes. Because <laughs> uh, I don't need more embarrassment in my life, no. <laughs> But yeah, um, so onto less embarrassing things. If you guys have any um, suggestions, reviews, comments, critiques on microphones, and because I don't know if it just can't hear me or it's because I'm too far away, I don't know, or I just don't talk loud enough. And then um, the camera video thing. Oh, and, and video editing software, if you guys have anything to say about that that would be great too because I don't have any and I don't want to just like I said go to Best Buy Circuit City whatever I don't think Circuit City's around anymore anyways I don't want to go to a video place and just pick out something I want to know what I'm getting and I've looked at a few things but I like to hear it I don't want to hear from companies I want to hear from actual people so get me that stuff in and I will see you guys next time see ya